Well, grab your depends, folks, because we've got some leaks going on here, and you'll want to stay dry. We have some PlayStation leaks that happened over the weekend, some Nintendo Switch 2 chatter that I don't even necessarily believe, but there's some things about this that I can't disprove, and that bothers me. It keeps me up at night, and I keep thinking about it over and over again, so maybe we'll come to some sort of conclusion with this. But like I said, this isn't supposed to happen on the weekend, so let's just get straight into it. We're going to start things off with the PlayStation 5 Pro called Project Trinity. Improved and consistent frames per second FPS at 4K resolution. A new performance mode for 8K resolution. Accelerated ray tracing. Studios receiving development kits by late November 2023 is targeting a November 2024 release. Now, PlayStation 5 Pro, this is something that we've been hearing about. Obviously, Sony did this last generation with the PlayStation 4 Pro, so it kind of makes sense that they would maybe do something like this as a mid-generation refresh with the PlayStation 5. But one thing I keep going back to with the PlayStation 5 as a system is, have we really seen the power of this system? Have we really seen a game that's like, hey... I feel like this could only be done on the PlayStation 5. Like, there's been marketing for it. You know, Ratchet and Clank, a rift apart, supposedly was only possible with the SSD of the PlayStation 5. But really, the whole rift thing was more of a gimmick than anything actually substantial to, like, the gameplay. So, I'm thinking about this. I'm looking at this, and I'm very confused because it's like... Well, who is this for? And you could have said the same thing about the PlayStation 4, but the PlayStation 4 Pro brought meaningful enhancements to stuff and meaningful enhancements to games that we had. You know, improved and consistent frames at 4K resolution. I mean, really, there's a handful of people out there that actually have 4K TVs that are capable of doing things like this, that have a refresh rate of over 60 hertz you know 120 hertz is what a lot of people are picking up with their tvs nowadays and i feel like those tvs may be able to be taken advantage of by this potential new system this information is coming to us from tom henderson who has a pretty decent track record so that's kind of why we're talking about it but you know the 8k stuff a, a new performance mode for 8k resolution who the hell has 8K TVs? Let me know in the comment section down below if you have an 8K TV. And if so, is it really that big of a difference? Like, we're getting to the point of diminishing returns with these resolutions and stuff like that. As far as 4K and 8K are concerned, like, we still don't have 4K 60 frames games across the board. Like, whenever a game is 4K, usually the, there's a performance mode for it that's actually playable but it's not at 4k the the graphics mode is usually at half the frame so you know we're not even fully utilizing the systems we have in developing the, the games that we have around the hardware that we already have so why would i believe that this little additional extra boost of power whatever it may be is going to fix that accelerated ray tracing like, let's be, uh, ray tracing is the biggest scam this generation. Like, who cares about ray tracing? It's like games haven't gotten necessarily a whole lot better. Honestly, the PlayStation 5 feels more like the PlayStation 4 Pro than the PlayStation 4 Pro was because it's not really doing all that much stuff that's outside of the realm of capabilities of a PlayStation 4. And I'm not trying to be negative about this because I am interested to see, you know, if this does come to fruition, you know, comparisons. Show me a baseline PS5 against this system and show me why I need it. But I just don't feel like we've been getting the software that is going to fully utilize this system. Like maybe Spider-Man 2 will be a game. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, Spider-Man 2 looks just like the other Spider-Man games that we've gotten. You know, it looks like the PlayStation 4 versions of it and stuff like that. And I honestly think it looks a little bit better. But it's not a full generational leap better, at least in my opinion, because we're coming to this whole law of diminishing returns with these generational leaps. Of course, what's the price point of this going to be? Pro systems are usually more expensive than baseline systems. I don't know. If, if this is coming out November of 2024, you have to have something to showcase this system because i feel like even playstation 5 owners can agree that hey we haven't really seen anything that's beyond leaps and bounds of what the playstation 4 can do 
why would I go out and upgrade, do an incremental upgrade to a system that really hasn't been tapped in full in terms of capabilities, in terms of potential and stuff like that? That's when you should do something like this. Not when you're in your infancy, when you launch in a pandemic that pretty much hampered game development. And there's still a lot of games that we haven't seen. So I do think this is a, a possibility here. I think it's an unnecessary move, though. And I, I get that it's just an option, so people are going to find necessity in it. But unless they're just wowing people with this PlayStation 5 Pro with some sort of presentation, with some sort of graphical capabilities only available and only can be done on this system and, you know, games that only run, like, better, on, I don't know, man. It, it, it's totally confusing to me. And also confusing to me is PlayStation's other big thing that's happening somewhat soon. Do you remember the, the PlayStation Q that we got to look at? The system that looked a lot like an Android tablet smushed between a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller that had been chopped in half? Well, here evidently is the system, and it's a, a PlayStation 5 controller chopped in half with an Android screen in the middle of it. Um, this is a video that leaked online. I'm kind of iffy about sharing it because I feel like Sony, Sony is very petty when it comes to hardware leaks. Um, with a play, it was a PlayStation 4 Slim model. Like there was a trailer floating around before Sony announced that, and they struck down everyone's channel. Um, but here you could see there's a screen in between a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. It looks like it's an Android screen. It's running some sort of programs on it and stuff like that. Um, taking a look at the back of it, there's like just a, a big long piece of plastic. Like who designed this? Somebody had to come up with this idea, like, hey, I got this revolutionary idea. It's kind of like a Wii U where you can play games on your couch, stream them, even though we already have that technology because there's remote play. And you can literally, they, they, Sony has done things like the backbone and stuff like that in order to promote this, to play with their cell phone. But now we have this, this an Android screen here. Um... I guess, as you can see, Destiny FOMO here saying, you know, you'll probably be able to emulate on it because it has to have some sort of memory capability to it. I mean, every Android device does. Um, if you're running some sort of programs on here and multiple programs, you know, the emulation aspect of it could be very interesting. But once again, we have to talk about price point with this because there's a lot of mystery with the price of the system. Look at how much an actual controller just costs, right? I can't see this thing being potentially under $200 and that's a problem like that, that that doesn't scream value to me if this was $100 or less then it would be something that would be interesting to look at but I don't feel like we've gotten to the point of where you know Sony is willing to charge $100 or less for something when the controller itself is selling for like 70 80 bucks so I don't know this this whole thing seems stupid to me it, it seems pointless and once again you're getting into the options area but if you have a million options for things and nobody's taking advantage of the options that you are offering is there a point to the option is there a point to making this or are you just wasting research and development are you wasting money trying to make things nobody freaking wants you know i don't think sony is quite at the level of nintendo when it comes to you know, people just buying it because it has a Nintendo logo on it. You know, I don't think Sony is, is quite there yet. And I don't know that they'll ever be there because of the fact that usually their, their stuff is, you know, kind of kind of high price. And Nintendo is too. But I, I don't know. Like, you could, you could take a dump on a box and write Nintendo on it, and you'll have a million fanboys lining up for it. But when it comes to Sony's kind of other endeavors with the PlayStation brand, as far as, you know, really more gimmicky things are concerned... I, I just don't see that same sort of drive and that same sort of thing. Like, look at the PlayStation TV. That thing was freaking awesome, and nobody cared about it. Nobody really cared about it until they found out you could hack it. So, this is stupid. This is ugly. This is stupid. It's not necessary. And finally, we've all seen this picture here. I've used it in thumbnails. I'm probably using it in this thumbnail as well. And I never thought this was real. This, you know, it's a... It's a mock-up it's it's interesting it's kind of interesting to look at you know it's like the joy con has like a little home in it this is coming to us from a twitter account named nintendogs that has been getting lots of eyes put on it obviously just a render of a box so 
people that are saying oh, this is an actual leak, you're idiots. If you're above like 10 years old, you should probably put on an FBI, FBI watch list. But this is where I kind of start to get some problems here. This is where I have some issues because let's say this is a fake because it is a fake. But why would you go through all of this in order to, to, to drive home the point of your joy cons that you're showing like detailed instructions with a generation two joy con you know here's a generation one joy con and then here's the generation two it like i guess slides around and that's supposed to be like a gimmick or something like that and then once again we go back into these bs renderings of stuff it takes longer to get into a game with this than it does like a, a normal switch game because you got to have like all the little pomp and circumstance oh it's gonna pop up like i don't want that you have this as well another gif it's just you know nobody wants this when switching between handheld and and docked mode they, they want it to be seamless i don't need some stupid presentation but then once again we get to these weird things like this like this person is taking a lot of time for something that's just potentially a gag, you know, like I, I, I don't get it. I don't. Get, and it bothers me. It bothers me because I can explain the, the mock up system. I can explain the, the UI stuff, everything. All of that stuff can be explained. But these like detailed drawings and renders and like this, like that looks good. This looks good. This looks good good and like this guy says here man whoever you are you're pretty good at graphics design overall good job like you are between this this and the the rendering here i don't know i don't know like obviously it's not a new system but maybe it's a new joy con that nintendo is trying to do like look there's, there's even more like obviously this stuff has been blurred out because you know it's stuff that they can't talk about but I don't know. This is this is just weird to me. Isn't it weird to you? Like, I'm not saying that this is real or anything like that, but this is a very elaborate hoax. A very elaborate hoax. I don't think this is real, okay? I don't think this system is real. I don't... This interface is definitely not real. This, this graphical thing here isn't real. But this... Maybe there's something to it. I don't know. I'm going to say that it's fake, and then if it's real, at least I'll... Just be like, hey, you know, I, I was wrong because I, I just don't see this being a thing like a Joy-Con that slides around like click, 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 click. Like that doesn't seem to be fun, but I don't know. You know what? Nintendogs, you got a little chance to shine here on the channel. I'm not going to follow you or anything like that, but you do some good, some good mock-ups here. You know, you, you did some interesting mock-ups and although they're probably not real, I don't know. It's just... This this just feels weird. This that that feels weird, and and this little these little drawings here they feel weird, man. Like when you look at the details and stuff, I don't know. I impressive work. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of all of this stuff. Are you impressed with the Sony plethora of crap that's coming out? Because I'm not. I I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation Five Pro. I might get the Q if it's it's like cheap just to make a video on it, but I don't know, maybe I will get a PlayStation 5 Pro to make a video on it, if it is indeed a reality, and what the hell are those Joy-Cons, man? What are they? What are they? Because I can't explain them, and that bothers me. Once again, just look at this. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. It's fake. It's fake. We're going to say it's fake, but it's fun to talk about. It's fun to discuss these things. And hell, maybe the PlayStation 5 Pro is fake as well. Let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. Do you have an 8K television? Because I don't think you do. You ain't balling like that. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are enjoying this video and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. We've got some interesting stuff coming up this week. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.